Cam, the south of France. In a Thales Alenia clean room, Sentinel 3A is undergoing its final preparations before being shipped to Russia for launch. The 3.7 meter high satellite weighs 1150 kilos and will be launched from the Plazets Cosmodrome on top of a Rocotte launcher. Once in orbit, Sentinel 3A will join the family of Sentinel satellites and start collecting Earth observation data, providing users around the globe with fast and reliable measurements. With these measurements, Sentinel-3 will play a key role in the European Commission's Earth observation program, Copernicus. The Sentinel-3 has a very uh, specific role, which is uh, what we say carpet mapping. It's a global mission. It's a mission which is supposed to cover all the Earth surfaces, land, water, ice, in the, as fast as possible, and to provide the basis for a lot of uh, uh, numerical modeling, which are used for climate prediction, for uh, human uh, uh, interaction with the nature, with uh, the land and with the ocean. So in that respect, uh, the Sentinel-3 mission is supposed to become a kind of workhorse of uh, the Copernicus uh, program. Sentinel-3 is a multi-instrument mission, carrying both optical and microwave instruments to make high-end accuracy measurements of sea surface topography, sea and land surface temperature and ocean and land surface color. With this free-of-charge data for the users, Sentinel-3 works in support of ocean forecasting systems and for environment and climate monitoring, all of which benefit our day-to-day -day activities on the planet. Data of this kind provides us with evidence of how our climate is changing and helps us to better understand these changes. So if you think about what we've got here, we've got a, a satellite making all these fantastic measurements for you and for me as citizens of Europe. It's delivering its data within three hours. And that data is available 24-7, 365 days a year, and we're going to do this for the next 15 years. This is a quantum leap in terms of the amount of information that we can bring to bear on the problems that society faces today, and Sentinel-3 is certainly there to give us the bigger picture. The Sentinel-3 mission is based on a constellation of two identical satellites, Sentinel-3A and Sentinel-3B. They will fly in the same orbit, but 180 degrees apart from each other. In this way, optimum global coverage and data delivery can be achieved. The deployment of Sentinel-3 has been delegated to ESA by the European Commission. And once the satellite is in orbit and fully operational, ESA and UMETSAT, the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, will share the responsibility for the mission, each focusing on their areas of expertise. And we're getting ready from the operations site. So all the facilities to support the operations uh, on a day-to-day -day business are in place. We have all the arrangements in place also with UMITSAT, with whom we uh, collaborate on the operations for the mission, which is quite an important point. Um, and, you know, we're looking forward to working with them uh, to ensure that we have the right data quality in the future for maintaining all these operations and, and the scientific research. After eight years of development, integration and testing with more than 100 companies involved, Sentinel-3A will soon provide an unprecedented step forward for the marine, climate change, atmosphere and land services. Thanks to ESA and Sentinel-3, the world's largest environmental monitoring program, Copernicus, is now well on its way.